Let's just wait for the queue. Ayan. So, yun. Good afternoon ulit. Ngayon, uh, we will be talking about We will be talking about composition. Any idea what composition is? Do you have an idea what is uh, what is uh, composition, Romel? Ano yung sabi ng composition? Nya si Romel. Hula lang hula. Wala siya may paggawa. Sige, anything? Liz, do you know uh, or do you have an idea what composition is? A piece po. Okay, a piece or, uh, or an artwork. Okay, so uh, thank you, Romel and Liz. But composition, uh, this means uh, the way visual elements in an artwork are arranged. Okay, so... Uh, Always, uh, always remember that the way visual elements, meaning uh, everything that you see in an artwork, okay? So those are visual elements: the character, the background, uh, the supporting, uh, supporting uh, details, and the colors and the lines, okay? And the values. Uh, those visual elements, uh, how how are they arranged, okay, in a canvas or or, or on your paper? Okay, so paano nakaayos, paano naka-organized ang mga ele ang mga visual elements na yan sa inyong artwork. Okay, so <clears throat> since you are building the skill, di ba ng unang module natin, we have uh, we have done the uh, creating meaning sa artwork nyo using colors and other visual elements and lines, di ba? Tapos dumaan tayo sa gestalt theory para mas maging intellectual at makapagbigay pa kayo ng more meaning and story sa inyong artwork. Then, we're done with uh, color theory. Ayan, para meron kayong idea kung paano or ano ang mga colors na gagamitin niyo sa inyong artwork. And after that, dumaan na tayo sa uh, paggamit ng ibang or ng ilang mga uh, coloring materials like oil pastel, uh, crayon, and Itong lately, yung acrylic paint. And ngayon, uh, I want to uh, congratulate everyone for having uh, a good and decent output or, or assignment about the different painting techniques. Okay, so I hope I, uh, I hope na magkaroon pa tayo ng ibang pagkakataon no, para, para ma-follow up yung skill na yan. Okay? And sana na-enjoy na yung pagpipaint kahit samples lang. Okay, so ngayon, uh, another skill na tuturo sa inyo is uh, doing proper composition or doing or arranging the visual elements properly in your artwork. Okay? So, sabi nga ni Henry Matisse, pakibasa nga, brain. Can you read, brain? Henry Matisse, composition is the art of arranging in a decorative manner. The diverse elements at the painter command to express his feelings. Okay, so ang composition daw ay ang pag uh, decorative arrangement okay, ng mga ng, ng, ng iba't ibang elements okay, para ma-express ng painter or ng artist yung kanyang feelings. Ayan. Oh, si Chelsea. Pumasok. Kala ko may sakit si Chelsea. Ayan. Sige. <clears throat> Ayan. A good composition... Yan, ito ay arrangement of shapes, arrangement of colors, and arrangement of values. Saan natin ipopwesto ng maayos ang mga shapes? Okay? Ibig sabihin yung mga mga objects ito, no? Tapos, uh, paano natin i-arrange ng maayos yung colors? Saan mo, saan mo ibibitaw yung warm? Saan mo ibibitaw yung cool colors? And the values, saan nakapwesto ang darks? Saan nakapwesto ang midtones? Saan nakapwesto ang lights? Okay, so those are the arrangement of uh, of good composition, okay? shapes, colors, and values. Okay, so sa, sa, sa shapes or uh, in in color, we have uh, three guidelines 
papaano natin mabibigyan ng ng tamang highlight or ng tamang uh, tamang uh, pansin yung ating main character or yung ating subject. So we have contrast, faces, and guidelines. Okay, so sa uh, simulan natin sa contrast. Yan, pwede tayong makapagbigay ng ng focus or or, or pwede niyo mabigyan ng extra attention yung inyong bida or yung inyong main character or yung inyong main subject by uh, changing its color. Okay, so kagaya niyan, uh, madaling napansin ang inyong main subject kasi di ba, sa isang artwork kailangan uh, matukoy ninyo or mabigyan ninyo ng extra attention yung yung element or yung object na gusto nyong unang-unang makita. Okay, para mangyari yun, ito yung mga tips para sa inyo. So, ibahin yung co color compared sa iba. Okay, for example, and this one. Ayan, in this painting, you can easily see uh, the lighted areas. Okay, because they are warm colors in orange, yellows. Okay, uh, in contrary or in complement, in contrast with the cool colors of the of uh, of the other elements like the background. Okay, so ibig sabihin sa painting na to, the main uh, uh, the main focal point or the main subject is the uh, the houses. Okay po, yung yung import dalawang importanteng house na ito. So binigyan ng artist ng warm color yung areas na yan. Okay, in contrast with the cool colors of the background. Okay, so that's uh, that's giving different colors. Okay, para mas mabigyan pa sinyo yung inyong focal point. Okay, another is saturation. Okay, sabihin, uh, pag sinabing saturated, matingkad yung colors. Pag sinabing unsaturated, ma ma mapusyaw or uh, uh, dull yung color. Okay? So example or, or, or uh, another sample is this. Ayan. So the whole artwork is uh, in greens, cool color green. Ang complementary color niya, di ba sa color will is red. Okay, so yun yung bubong nung uh, houses or nung structure dito. Okay, so una niyo mapapansin ay yung, uh, yung lugar na ito kasi it has different color or it has uh, the complementary or the contrasting color against the green uh, sa environment. Okay, tapos, bukod sa color, ayan, you can also use shapes. Nga dito. Okay, everything, background, mountains, okay, ay angular. Ibig sabihin, uh, uh, may kanto. Okay, nga rin, triangles, diba? uh, squares, and trapezoids. May mga kanto yung mga yan. Uh, in contrast, yung main subject ninyo is round. Okay? Curved. Okay po? So, uh, nag-iba siya ng shape against the angular shapes of the background. Kaya mas nabigyan pa, mas, mas nabigyan pa ng emphasis yung object na ito, which is the main focal point. Okay? Understood? Na nakakasabay ba? mag hand nga yung mga nakakasabay? Ayan, sige. So, almost everyone naman, no? Okay po. So, and Another example of contrast in shape. So, ayan. Ang una nyo nakita dyan ay yung... Ano ang una nyo nakita? Pwede nyo bang i-type? Sino yung una nyo nakita? Yes, Rain. Sino yung una mo nakita? yung kulay black. Ay, yung kulay black. Okay. So, ang una na, unang nakita ni Rain is the color black kasi uh, masyado siyang bold at uh, dark yung color niya against the uh, the bright color of the background. How about Liza? Yung umbrella po. Mga babae. Okay. So, another thing na possible na maging perspective nyo is the, umbre uh, is the woman under the umbrella. Why? Because of the contrast of shape. So, lahat yan ng nakikita ninyong uh, elements, main elements sa background is angular. Even the black or the, 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 the 
big man in black suit ay angular parang parang para siyang rectangle okay or pa, para siyang pa pentagon di ba so angular yan in contrast with the round shape of the umbrella okay tapos bright pa yung color niya parang para siyang naka spotlight okay so it gives it gives the audience or it draws the eyes of the audience to this uh, woman first before looking at the other area of the artwork okay So, yan ay isang tip para mas mabigyan nyo ng, ng spotlight, para mas mabigyan nyo ng pansin, para mas mabigyan nyo ng extra attention yung inyong main character or yung inyong main subject. Okay? Another is value. Well, uh, we all know naman that value is the lightness or darkness of uh, the the color okay? or, or of the shade. So, in this one, ayan, so we have light light value. Siyempre, ang una nyo napansin dyan, is the child in the face of the monster no because it has lighter value para siyang may spotlight okay tapos tsaka kayo tsaka kayo aandar di ba from light to dark and ah meron pa lang babae doon okay so it has a mid tone value tapos tsaka kayo pupunta sa dark area and may smoke and pabalik doon sa inyong uh, main subject Okay? Nakuha po. So, ayan na. If you want to uh, get extra attention, yan. play with the value. Bigyan ng lighter value ang main focal subject ninyo compared sa others. Okay? So, mas maliwanag, uh, mas importanteng subject, bigyan ng mas liwanag. Kasi yun ang unang-unang titignan ng mata. Tapos, uh, habang umaandar kayo or yung mga least important, bigyan ng mga Uh, mid to dark values. Okay? So, another, yan, another sample natin yan. Siyempre, una nyo mapapansin dyan is yung area with, uh, with, with bright colors or with light values. Okay? Tapos, yung, yung mga background, hindi nyo na masyado mapapansin sa simula. I-enjoy nyo muna yung, yung light values ng, uh, ng, ng main subject bago kayo ma-draw out doon sa Uh, background which is in dark values. Okay? Okay, so contrast is a way to guide uh, the eye of your viewer. Okay? So kung gusto nyong i ilagay ang mata ng viewer ninyo sa bida ninyo okay, or sa inyong main subject or sa inyong focal focal point okay, ng isang, ng isang uh, artwork, gawin nyo yung mga sinabi ko. Okay, contrast in color. Okay, dark, uh, warm versus cool. Ganun lang yon. Contrast in shape. Rounds versus angular. Okay. Tapos, uh, contrast in size. Pwede rin yun. Big versus small. Contrast in value. Dark versus light. Alright. So, yun ang inyong mga gagawin para mas mabigyan ng uh, emphasis or mabigyan ng extra attention. Yung gusto nyong bigyan ng extra attention. Okay, so lahat nga nang nakagets ay mag-raise hand. Okay, thank you sa mga nag-raise hand. Okay, so sa mga medyo nalilito pa, you can uh, review this lesson because it's it's recorded naman. Okay? So also, you can uh, uh, you can have uh, ex uh, you can have the extra attention for your Um, focal subject by using guidelines. So these guidelines uh, help you to 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 guide the eyes of the audience towards your main subject. Okay. So uh, for example, this one. And if you will notice in the spheres, the directions of the hands, di ba? The directions of the body. And may hands, may hands dito. May top and bukod dun sa direction ng mga hands na nagka-create ng line ay uh, lahat pa ng mga mata. Diba? Yung view. So, saan nakatingin yung mga characters. It also draws lines doon sa focal point. Okay? So, which is the uh, parang pagpatay sa, sa animal na yan, sa deer na yan. Okay? So, yun. Okay? So, pwede kayo ng imaginary line 
okay by by ano sa pagpuesto ng mga other elements ninyo kunya yan hindi naman wala naman talagang line diyan pero yung yung direction na nagawa ng ng uh, ng objects na ito yan meron tayo dito yung balikat niya di ba yung katawan niya yung mat, yung yung uh, animal na ro ayan nakagawa siya ng line tapos yung tingin ng mga other people okay so it draws imaginary line towards your main subject so you can do that also you can have obvious lines doon sa inyong uh, sa inyong ginagawa for example the swords around the main character provides uh, guidelines or uh, lines na nagtuturo doon sa inyong bida sa gitna. Okay? So, yan. Oh. Itong mga yan represents a line that that, uh, that draws uh, attention or extra attention doon sa inyong main subject. Okay? So, guidelines. Also, we have these guidelines that we call rule of thirds wherein your paper or your composition is divided into thirds or uh, into three. Diba? Meron tayong first portion, middle portion, and right portion. Top portion, middle portion, and uh, bottom portion, which uh, which is divided by these guidelines. So, this is what we call rule of thirds. Okay? So, this rule of thirds will help you to uh, to properly locate or to properly place your subjects. Kasi, pinaka-effective na ilalagay ang subject along the lines of the rule of thirds, most especially on each uh, intersecting area. For example, this one. Okay, the umbrella. Okay, the, ano, the, the building. Yan, along the lines. Pati yung dalawang bida, along the lines. Okay. Tapos, doon sa mga focal point, okay, yung umbrella nasa, nasa focal point, okay, yung, yung area kung saan magkahawak ng kamay, yung male and female nasa focal point. Ibig sabihin, sila ang main subject mo. Okay, supporting yung iba, supporting itong building na ito. So, that's rule of thirds. Ilolocate mo along the lines or yung pinaka-importante, either one of these dots isa sa apat na yan ipi-place mo yung iyong uh, yung iyong subject okay another is the golden ratio okay ibig sabihin you, you can place your uh, subject your main subject sa pinakamalaking space okay tapos kasunod diyan yung iba na, na mas uh, na mas na lesser detail ganyan for example this one ayan. The Great Wave of Kanagawa. Okay? So, ginamit niya yung golden ratio as guideline sa kanyang artwork. Okay? You can also view different uh, artworks na ginamitan ng golden ratio. Okay? Another is symmetry. Ayan. You have seen this, the balance, the, ano, the, the symmetrical artwork of uh, of this art, of this uh, work. Ayan. So, we say na symmetry, what you, what you see Uh, sa kanan is you can also see sa kaliwa. Okay? And you can also use the centered composition. So, you, kung sinina sa gitna, siya yung bida. Okay? Okay po. So, pwede nyo gamitin yung, uh, gold, yung rule of thirds kung, nasa, kung saan yung lines, doon yung lalagay yung artwork. Or you can also use the centered composition na yung pinaka-center nandun yung inyong pinaka-bida or pinaka-main subject. Okay? As you can see, yan, in-apply din niya yung contrast, di ba? Light, light and dark, okay? tapos yung cool versus warm. Okay? So, yun, uh, ginamit din ng artist dito yun. You can also have the golden triangles. This is called the golden triangles. Kasi dyan sa mga lines na yan, makakabuo ka ng mga uh, ng apat na triangular shapes. So yan, you place your uh you place your uh objects or elements doon sa mga spaces na nakabuo ng triangle. Kunyari, etong 
malaking triangle sa ibaba, diyan nilagay ng artist yung uh, most of the portion ng kanyang main subject, which is in the fighting uh, dogs. Okay, so diyan nakapwesto yung uh, karamihan or most of the portion. Tapos yung upper part naman na triangle, nandyan yung kanyang white space. Yung sky, okay, dyan nakapwesto. Tapos sa, sa magkabilang triangle, yung background or yung supporting details niya. Okay? So that's that's how you use the the golden triangle. Kung yung rule of thirds along the lines, yung golden triangle naman within the space or within the empty space ang paglalagay ng visual elements. Okay? Also, you can uh, tilt the horizon. Okay? So, ito yung horizon, di ba? Yan yung ibig sabihin ng horizon, yung guhit na nakikita ninyo are sa end ng kaya ninyong makita. So, sa artwork na ito, ito yung horizon, yung beach. Pero para bigyan ng ng mas uh, dramatic look yung artwork, binali niya or nakatilt or nakatagilid yung uh, yung uh, horizon na yan. Okay? Para mabigyan ng mas magandang story, mas intense na, na, na drama yung artwork niya. So, you can also do this. Of course, may babagayan ito. Siyempre, hindi siya bagay sa mga sunset. Eh, nakatilt yung yung ano yung horizon sunset. Okay, so mas okay siya sa mga scenery uh, sa mga ano scenes kagaya ng ganito. Yung merong interaction or yung merong action na nagagana. Okay? Nakuha po. So those are uh, some tips para makagawa kayo ng magandang composition. Okay po. So yan, contrast and guiding lines. Okay, do you have questions? Pag gusto nyo ng sample? Mag-sample tayo, gusto nyo? Wait lang. Ayan, magbigay, try nyo uh, mag-comment kayo dito ng uh, mga gusto nyo makitang, bawat isa sa inyo, sige, bawat isa sa inyo, mag, mag-comment kayo ng isang object na gusto nyo makita sa isang art, artwork, object or person na may ginagawa. Comment kayo dyan. Ano yung, magbigay kayo ng isang object or ng isang character or person na gusto nyo makita sa isang composition. Cookie jar. Sige, Romel. How about the others? You can give, uh, give an object. Perfume. Sige. Teacup. Yung iba. Si Judea, Liza, Clyde, and Hannah. Pwede kayo magbigay ng uh, object. Susubukan natin gawa ng story, yung mga objects na yan. Tapos, ano sa'yo, Judiel? Sorry. Ano po ulit yan, sir? Magbigay kayo ng object or character na gusto nyo makita sa isang composition. Isa lang. Ano yun, Liza? Teka lang, ha? search ko yan. Ha? Cookie Run Kingdom. Tama ba? Sige. 
Wala akong idea dyan eh. Ah, eto. Ano to? Game? Ah, sige, sige. Nakita ko na. Wala na, wala na nga habol. Judiel, Clyde, Hana. Wala kayong gustong makitang uh, object or uh, element. Samurai. O, oh, sige, sige. Medyo, ano yun, ah. Wala sa ano. Pero sige, try natin. Share ko lang yung aking tab. Ayan, start. Ay, wala. Ba't ayaw mo? yung mga join lang ah wait lang ikokonek ko lang isang device ko ah, para mak makapag sample tayo ng ah, ng composition Ayan. share screen lang ako. Wait. Ayun, meron na. Ano nga ulit yung mga sample natin? So, cookie jar, perfume, teacup, ah, uh, Cookie, cookie Run Kingdom character tsaka Samurai. O ngayon, gagawa, ga, uh, let's let's think of uh, a story or bibigyan natin ng kwent, ng konting kwento ito uh, para ma-arrange natin sa ating paper yung ating uh, gagawing artwork. Okay, so it is time to to ano to think very carefully. So syempre, ang pinaka character natin is si Cookie Run Kingdom. Kasi siya yung may face and uh, one uh, one guideline sa inyong composition is kung sino yung may muka or may makikitang muka. Siya yung pinaka ano, siya yung magiging main focal ano, focal point. So let's have the Cookie Run Kingdom character si ano si yung bread ano, ang tag dito sa ano Gingerbread Man. So siya yung ating bida. Tapos dapat may cookie jar. May perfume, may teacup, may samurai. Okay, so, lagyan natin ng story, ha? So, gusto ko, si Cookie Run Kingdom ay kumukuha ng cookie sa cookie jar. Okay? Na merong katabing mga perfume, tsaka teacup na marome. Tapos, along the background, doon sa bahay, ay merong nakadisplay na samurai. So, yun yung pinakamadaling a scene na, na nakikita ko. So let's have the rule of thirds. Ito yung sinasabi kong rule of thirds. Okay? So let's ah uh, sorry. So let's divide the uh, the the canvas in three. And estimate lang yan. Okay, so let's divide the canvas in three. Tapos, let's start placing. Hindi ko tatapusin yung artwork ka. Gusto ko, papakita ko lang sa inyo kung paano mag-place ng ano, ano mag-place ng mga visual elements. 
Ayan, babaan ko lang yung transparency. Ayan. So, gusto ko dito yung horizon. Ibig sabihin, ito yung table. Table yan, table. Ito sa table. Tapos, ah, so, pwesto ko si Cookie, si Cookie, ano yun? Cookie Run Kingdom character. Siguro dito. Ito yung head niya. Tapos, kumukuha siya ng Kumukuha siya ng Yan. Intentionally, I placed the head dito sa focal point na ito. Okay? Para mas, uh, mas mabigyan siya ng extra attention. Kumukuha siya ng cookie sa cookie jar. Okay, so yan ang cookie jar. Ayan, if you can see, hindi ko pinagpare-parehas yung direction ng mga cookies para mabigyan ng, uh, ng contrast. Okay. So that's the cookie. Sample lang yan. Sketch lang to. And let's have a, ano yan, perfume and teacup. The perfume and teacup, siguro we can place it... Uh, We can place it. We can place the teacup here. Supporting para mag para ma balance natin, no? Magarantay ng pointing balance. Okay, and the perfume. Yes, Rain. Any suggestion? Yeah. Pwede yes. po, pa-request po na yung perfume po, yung parang nakaspill po. Ayun. Yung parang nakaspill. Oo, oh, yan, yan, yan din yung, yung naisip ko. Nakatumba siya, tas merong ano, merong, merong, merong leak. Okay. okay. <laughs> Yun, that's, that's a good idea. Pero the problem is, where will you put the perfume? Okay. Ang maganda lang naman, ang guide lang naman kasi natin is where will you put your uh, main character? Mala makakatulong yung rule of thirds. Kasi pansinin nyo, ayan o. Oh, dyan pa lang, kita na natin kung sino yung bida. Okay. Kasi siya yung may, yung may maayos na, na placement. Okay. Siguro we can place the perfume, the spilled perfume. Uh, ah, alam ko na. Gagamitin natin siya ng, ano, ng guiding lines. Okay, so we will have the perfume here. Some, somewhere here. Okay. Kunyari, ano yan, perfume yan. Bottle ng perfume. Tapos, we will use the spilled water to guide the eye of the uh, the viewer towards your main subject or your main character. Okay? So, this one, yan, this, uh, itong uh, element na yan, yung liquid na yan, ay nagdodraw ng imaginary line imaginary line towards your main subject. Okay? So, you can take advantage of that. Okay? 
Yun. Tapos, you can put the samurai. Well, siguro may pintuan dito. No? Kunyari may pintuan dyan. Or ano. Ay, hindi. Fireplace. Fireplace. Tapos dito naka-display yung samurai ni Judy Hali. Dilitan lang natin ha kasi hindi siya proportion sa laki ng yung fireplace. Diba may ano yun? May parang para dun sa sa lagayan no? ng display. Okay? So, yan. That's basically the placement of the uh, of the composition. Now, let's try to ano to add color ng konti lang. Let's try to add colors. So, this cookie man, itong character na to, siya ay parang ano no parang brown siya di ba tama ba yung gingerbread man na yan siya ay brown siya ay brown Tapos, the cookies are also brown. Diba lang tayo ng tone? Okay. Later, we will we will add values para ma-define yung bawat cookie. It's the jar. Obviously, the jar is a transparent one. And transparent siya. Tapos, let's have the teacup. Hindi, hindi. Mas lighter pa. And the perfume bottle na medyo medyo purple ng konti. Indigo ng konti. Okay, and the perfume itself. Let's make it a uh, little bit transparent. It's water or it's, it's a liquid. And as you can see, ginawa kong warm color yung main character tsaka yung ina-interact niyang object compared dun sa cool color ng uh, full colors ng uh, other elements. Okay, so, the background, you can have the background, uh, syempre, since the character is sneaking, ibig sabihin, na ibig sabihin, the setting will be dark. Ayan yung settings natin, no? dark ang settings natin. Okay, tapos let's, let's just add, uh, add na tayo ng values. Airbrush na lang tayo. Bigyan natin ng, uh, ng dark area, yung hindi naman importante, yung wala naman masyadong element. Tapos iiwanan natin ng, iiwanan natin ng spotlight. yung lugar na yan. Okay? Siguro di, ano, no? Yan, dito sa ginagawa nating composition na to, gumagamit tayo ng complementary color theory. So, the brown is, the, the brown is makikita sa orange family. 
tapos yung ating other composition is in in uh, in violet or in uh, indigo or violet okay so let's have the table so we can say that this one is a complementary or a split complementary So, hindi ako gumamit ng warm color sa table kasi aagawan, uh, medyo magbe-blend yung character natin dyan. Okay? Tapos, ayan. Ayan ng konting dark area to. Ito. Then, let's have the fireplace. Ayan. Fireplace. Siyempre, there's fire. Ah, so, that's also in warm color. Tapos, the background should be dark since it's uh, Gamit lang tayo ng iba't ibang values nito, no? Iba't ibang values ng shade na to. Medyo bluish yung ginagamit nating value dito. Okay, let's just summary natin ng konting... Light shade. Medyo warm. Medyo warm ang kunin natin para mag-stand out siya. Okay, tapos we can add um, we can add glow also dito sa gilid ng, uh, ng cookie jar. siya, yung highlight natin. Yan. Ayan ang glow yan. Konting na uh, Ito ng konting shadow na yung ano no, yung cookie. Para ma-define natin yung different cookies. Basically, ayan na yung ating composition. Okay? So, gumamit tayo ng rule of thirds. Gumamit tayo ng uh, contrast, color contrast. So, meron tayong warm versus cool dito. Okay, tapos, gumamit din tayo ng leading lines. Ang ginamit natin yung leading lines ay yung water. Diba? Yung water na nag-spill from the perfume. Okay, tapos, uh, yun, we added a value. Diba? Para, uh, nag naglagay tayo ng, ah, uh, I mean, nasa lighter value area yung main character against the dark value sa mga unimportant areas. Okay, so, tapos, after this, you can add details na. Okay? So, may natutunan po ba kung paano gumawa ng composition?
Magraisehan nga yung meron. Okay? So for your uh, uh, for your ah uh, dito for your homework and also in preparation of your uh, your for your performance task, this is your homework. Yeah, you, you, uh, preparation muna tayo. Ha? Sketch a composition about an Asian culture. So, ang inyong theme ay Asian culture. Any, anywhere uh, sa Asia. Philip, Southeast Asia, Philip kayo ng Philippines. Pwede kayong mag-Chinese, Japanese, Korean, uh, Middle East, or Indian. So, those are Asian culture. Sketch a composition about an Asian culture. Okay, be specific para di kayo mahirapan. Tapos, you follow the guidelines of composition making which, uh, which was discussed today. And color your artwork with either oil pastel, crayon, or acrylic paint. So kung saan kayo mas komportable, yun ang gagamitin ninyong kulay. Okay? Do this on your sketchpad or any material that will fit your coloring medium. Kasi baka mamaya you use acrylic paint tapos band paper. That will not work. Okay? So uh, uh, you will use a different paper kapag acrylic paint. Mas makapal. Pero kung oil pastel lang naman, tsaka crayon, Ordinary sketchpad will do. So, kung saan, kung ano yung mag-fit. Yes, Liz, do you have a question? Ay, sorry po. Okay, sige, napindot lang pala. So, yun na. So, ang inyong, ang inyong uh, theme ay Asian culture. Again, ulitin ko ha. Choose only one culture para hindi kayo mahirapan. Be specific. Tapos, after this class, I will post the recorded video. You can review our uh, our, our discussion para sa guide sa guides ng paggawa ng composition tapos yun tsaka na natin kukulayan wag niyo muna kukulayan ha let me ang ang assignment niyo muna is to sketch okay naintindihan po ba wala muna nang magkukulay wala muna nang mag mag mag-ink or magpe-pen gusto ko muna makita ang sketch ng composition are we good yes is hand nga yung nakakuha ng instruction. Okay, thank you. So, sige, kung wala na tayong question, just wait for the posting of this recording and pwede na kayong gumawa. Okay, thank you, grade 8. Goodbye po, sir. Bye po, thank you. Bye.